What's up, guys? This is Nathan from Nightmare Gaming. I'm here today with something a little bit new. Um, so, essentially, Godzilla, the new one, is going to be coming up in about 80 days from the time this video is going to be out, which is today. So, Chris and I are going to be doing a thing where we review uh, all the Godzilla videos every three days up until the new one. I'm going to be doing the first one, and we're going to be doing the original Godzilla. Uh, so, uh, yeah, let me just try to get ready. Pre-game, pre pre-game hype. Just look, look at that, look at that catch-up. Look, look, look at that. Anyway, six years ago, in 1954, Toho made a revolutionary movie that amazed audiences around the world. Gojira is one of the best movies of all time. This, this, this put very loosely. I'm just saying. But they decided to do, a, in 1956, they decided to do a lot, redo a lot of it uh, for American audiences and ended up releasing it as Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Um, the movie starts out after Godzilla's rampage on Tokyo and shows you the mass destruction that Godzilla has caused. Right away, we get to see a character that was added in the American version of the film, Steve Martin, who is played by Raymond Burr. Uh, Raymond Burr, he's an excellent actor, uh, but they only use him to explain the story to us. Oh, stupid America who don't understand technology and uh, smartness. He doesn't really have any real emotions. Uh, before Tokyo was destroyed, Steve Martin was on his routine flight to Cairo. You know, in, in, in Egypt. You, you know what the PM is at? Mm, Sphinx. I don't know where the fuck he's going to Cairo. For the United World News. What a coinkening that he has to stop in Tokyo. I'm just saying. Because I don't, I don't think that matches up. You know, because Asia's right under Cairo. You know, in, in Africa. And then, you know, you got Asia here. And then you got Africa. Man, when he lands, he gets taken to be interrogated uh, about boats that have been destroyed recently, and he decides to investigate himself. Sure, why not? Ask, ask the white guy, who well, just got here, uh, if you know about boats creation. You know, it's, it's not like this is right after World War II. Uh, what, 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 what you trying to say, Japan? Hmm? Hmm? Uh, you, uh... You, you're, you're trying to blend? Hey, you attack this first. He goes to an inhabitant island where a survivor of one of the boat's wrecks died. Nice. That's good. Anyways, we find out the people of the island believe in an ancient sea god named Godzilla. And they think he's the cause of the boats being destroyed. Brilliant. No, no, no. Seriously. Br brilliant. I'm, I'm being serious. I mean, really. This is the obvious answer. I mean... You know, it's not like a hurricane or a storm. No, it's just some giant ass fucking lizard. This, the, perfect, perfect. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Steve Martin stays the night and a terrible storm comes along and causes serious damage to the village. They find a radioactive footprint after the storm and then the village alarms go off. Okay, maybe, maybe Godzilla was a better thought than I originally. Fuck you. Okay. They see Godzilla over a mountain and then run away in fear in the opposite direction of island. No, come, come on, guys, let's run away on the smallest island. He'll, he'll never find us. I, and he isn't like a giant fucking monster or anything. No, it's perfect. Ten out of ten. It, it will work. Okay, L look at me. I took two years of physiomechology dicks. Okay, I know what I'm doing. The rest of the movie, they really just try to find a way to destroy Godzilla. Uh, they then they try to use death bombs. Yeah, sure. Let's let's take a tor let's take a submarine and shoot torpedoes at him. That's perfect. It's ten out of ten. It's, it works. It works. Perfect. Okay. And then they try to use their electricity power lines on him. Sure. Let's uh let's. Let's try and shock him to death, and then blow out our electricity at the same time. Jesus fucking Christ, these guys are geniuses. I'm just saying. 
Godzilla goes around destroying everything in his path, uh, and then goes back into the ocean. He needed a nap. Ugh. This is good. They finally come up with something. An oxygen destroyer. Perfect. Let's destroy an entire ecosystem. We don't we don't need fish to eat. <laughs> let's let's do it anyways. And they ended up killing him. Uh there you go. If I spoiled that movie, boo-hoo, it's a 60-year-old movie. Screw yourself. Overall, I mean, this movie is really kind of boring. Uh, the human characters really aren't that interesting. You know, Steve Martin looks like Max Payne, like, My daughter died. Just like my wife. Yeah. Um, yeah, the human characters aren't that interesting. So, I mean, really... The Godzilla scenes are they're pretty cool, but, you know, I, I guess I'll give this movie, like, a 5 out of 10. I mean, you know, it was our first one. It was it was pretty cool. Um, just not a lot of good human con content. More, It's more Godzilla that's really good in it. But anyway, that was the video.